Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm here to show you how to get started from scratch with Forge Networking. So I have Unity 5.1 open here, and I have release version 3. Now, this also works in 4.6 because the package is built for 4.6 and optimized for, 4, uh, for Unity 5. So I'm just going to import it in, and uh, we'll get started. So now that I have everything imported in, you'll notice that there's a Bearded Man Studios folder and then a Forge Networking folder, which has all the documentation and change log and all that fun stuff. So the first thing that you want to do whenever you first get started is you want to look for the menu scene. There's a Forge Quick Start menu. And inside of this menu, there is a canvas. Uh, if you click the canvas, there's a Start Game script. And in here, you'll find that uh, we have a host, a port, a protocol, and all these other things. So you want to start from the Forge Quick Start menu because it's actually what creates a socket uh, for the host and the client and does all the connection and prepares you to play. You can't just make a, a scene without being able to start up that first. So, of course, you can make your own start menu or menu script. This is just a uh, this is just an introduction one. So, uh, what we want to do is we want to mainly look at the host here. You want to make sure that it says 127.0.0.1 for this. That's your local host. And whenever we do some video tutorials on how networking works for everybody who hasn't networked before, we'll discuss what that is. Uh, we're going to be using port number 15937. I chose that one mainly because it was fun to type on the uh, number pad, so that's what we have. We're going to be using uh, the protocol type of UDP. And the next important thing, probably one of the most important ones, is the scene name for this. So we have Forge Hello Cube Resources as the scene name. This is the scene that is going to load once we finish the connection. So uh, if you want to run your own test scene that you're working on, you can put in your scene name in here and then add it to your build settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open up my build settings with Control shift b or up here if we go to File, Build Settings. Now, uh, now that I have this open, I'm going to go to the player settings, and I'm going to make sure that run in background is on. You want to make sure this is on because uh, we're going to be running multiple instances on the same machine, and if we click away from instances, we don't want them to disable and stop sending messages because run in background is not on. So we want to make sure that's checked, and then we want to add these two scenes uh, into our build settings. So we want to add our quick start menu first, and second, we want to add in our resources scene which is the Forge Hello Cube resources, and here's the path if you want to check that. So now that we have the Hello Cube resources and everything else set up, we're going to go to Build and Run, and I'm just going to build it out and run this instance. Now that we have it built and ready to go, I'm going to hit Play on this. I'm going to use windowed mode and uh, choose a small resolution here. I'm going to hit Play, firing up Unity 5 Splash, and I'm going to go into the editor and I'm going to press play in the editor so that uh, the editor is going to be the host and the instance is going to be the client. So in the editor, I'm going to hit host server and you'll see my cube spawn and uh, all this UI elements updating. And then over here, uh, I'm going to make sure that this says 127.0.0.1 as the host and I'm going to hit join server with above IP address. When I select that, you'll see it come in on the other scene. You'll notice that the update for the time is at one second intervals. This is not because the network is, is slow, it is because we actually clamp it to one second. If you go into the networking manager here, you'll notice that the update time interval is set to one, and that's in seconds. So it's only going to update uh, every second. Now, uh, if I move around, you'll notice that the cube will move around on uh, both the server and the client. It's kind of hard to show both unless I snap them. So now that we have uh, everything running, uh, this shows that our messages are working. We have a server and a client connecting, and that is basically how you can get started uh, with absolutely no code. Um, so please leave your feedback and your comments, and let us know if you need any help or if we forgot to explain anything. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later.